Transition, um, and we got some really good opportunities there. I think Roman's one was big, um, kind of got us going. He came down, I think at, at that point they got it to four, and you know he came down and got that one to get it to five, which was good. Um, and then we had some other ones, you know, I think Ray Hills um, was big there as well. Um, and then just, you know, kind of you get to that spot and you know, like, again, I've been in that spot where we've, we've been behind where you have to kind of pick it up and start sliding and create things. And if you, if you don't handle it, a lot of times double teams, things like that. And I thought these guys handled a lot of the slides and the pressure and just shared the ball and shared the ball. And then when they got opportunities, they canned them. Hills, I mean, you guys want to follow up on this, you can, but usually they're the ones applying tempo to other people. It seemed like you guys really made a concerted and effective effort at dictating tempo to them. How, how important was that? To um, you know, they they play so fast and they are so good. They they put you under pressure the whole game. Like if you're on the face-off, you got to win the face-off. And if you don't win the face-off, then you deal with, you know, the saddle coming down and you have to make a decision. Like, do you get off or you give them a six on five? Um, and then if you keep your face off guy on, he'll stay on, he'll go back, he'll dodge you, he'll pick, um, or he'll pull you to the side. And now it's a five on five. And so do you want to play against five on five with five really good players and more space? Or do you want that six guy on there? And, and we tried to kind of live with whatever happened because we knew there'd be times, like Anthony did a great job there a couple times. He got caught back today and did a really good job. Um, but, you know, we just kind of said to the guys, like, listen, we're all going to get caught back at sometimes. Just read whether you're going to get pulled out or if you get stuck in there, just play. Most of our offensive guys do defense every week, like even our attackmen. So they'll go back, they'll do four on fours, they have to defend picks, they get isolated because we know the way we play offense at times, like anybody could get caught back there. And A friend of mine, Sarah, texted me from the stands asking the significance of the shirt, the shirts, and then to the guys, uh, and Coach Tiffany alluded to this, a little bit of whack-a-mole trying to defend that offense. If you guys can talk about how much fun it is when you're in double-digit scorers and moving the ball and sharing the ball, especially against such a highly ranked defense. You guys want to start with that? In the uh, yeah, uh, I think it's a credit to just our, our unselfishness. Um, everyone on our offense, we all just play together, um, move off the ball when you don't have it. When you have it, everyone's looking for each other, just keeping the ball moving. Also, credit to the scout guys all week. Those guys prepare us for these moments. Uh, they give us that look of quick slides, maybe not sliding all week. And we have great players uh, that play a scout team, so that's a big help for us. Yeah, it'd be said it. A lot of credit to our scout guys all week pushing us as a unit, and I feel like we were just very unselfish today, moving the ball, um, getting up each other open, and it worked out for us. Well, there's a follow-up here. The oh, yeah. Um, oh, right. So this week, um, our coaches organization, IMLCA, um, starts lead week, and um, I'm on the diversity um, and, and inclusion committee for the college men's lacrosse co uh, coaches association, the IMLCA. And, so one of the things that's kind of happened over the last couple of years is we created this committee and it's chaired by uh, Nat St. Laurent, um, um, who's done an incredible job. And, and we have, you know, we have Zoom meetings and we talk about how we can, you know, just do a better job of, you know, expanding the sport, create more diversity, um, a healthier environment. Coach just said a game like this, Keegan, uh, came from another program to come here. Was it for days like today? And how's that going? Well, yeah, obviously it was an exciting opportunity. We had a chance to play Virginia out in an MLS stadium. Um, it was a great week of preparation for us. And yeah, I think all our guys were super excited. And yeah, obviously I'm, I'm a big soccer fan myself. So the chance to come out here and play was super cool. And for you, you've been here a long time. Did you get a charge out of going out there today? Uh, yeah, I think it was definitely it was a great atmosphere. Um, everyone seemed everyone was really engaged in the game, and it uh, starts with those guys on the sideline keeping us engaged the whole time, bringing energy the whole time, and that's what makes games fun like this. Yeah, obviously, guys first or Anthony, you're probably more equipped. You know, there was a lot of talk about revenge and this and that. There was a different feeling today. It seemed to me, even when the score got separated, that there was some memory of the ill that Virginia's caused us. That's one. And coach, I passed the team bus, a quarter of two, all right? Were you worried about getting to the game? I mean, the traffic was insane. Yeah, it, the hard part, and this is a awesome venue. Um, the hard part was like, 
and you have you know six teams here you had to kind of pick where did you want to spend your time and i think for our guys like our locker room situation is great um, and they're very comfortable there what we didn't want to do is get them here and then just be sitting in a small locker room and i just don't think they would have been comfortable or happy so you know, we came down, um, it's, there's a lot of moving parts when you play a neutral site game like this. And, and I think this could be a really cool thing year after year. I think year one is always, there's some challenges. Um, we, we didn't have cones, um, you know, and, and it's like, okay, who's supposed to bring the cones and everybody's looking at each other. Um, but I know, I, I appreciate our facility people jumped in and did an amazing job. I know Virginia's did as well. There were a lot of people behind the scenes. The Audi people were awesome. Um, it's just hard, you know, you, you have a facility that's set for maybe a couple teams and now you got six. So there are some kinks that you have to work out. Um, and it was tough. We got here and then we had to change quickly. Uh, and then we like to get on the field and kind of get ready. So we were definitely, it was kind of a kind of crazy warm up and situation. But these guys, we, we've had some of those before. Um, it's like that when you play in a tournament and we thought maybe the value would be for playing in a tournament atmosphere that you hope that if you do go on and you get into the Big Ten tournament, like that's kind of how it is. Like if you do the second game, you're, you got to get, you get 30 minutes and you got to get ready. It's neutral site. Um, so you're a little uncomfortable and I, just having veteran guys like these guys, n not much really bothers them. They're not high maintenance guys. And they were just like, all right, whatever we get, we get, just got to get ready and let's go play. And these guys are terrific in that regard.